What's up guys, my name is K9 and in today's video I really want to talk to you about something very very serious and important surrounding the topic of mental illnesses and in my opinion one of the most dangerous mental illnesses which is in fact depression. And before you do click away I do have a lot that I need to say and I really think that a lot of you do need to listen and take it in because we all need to learn from a lot of the things I'm going to be talking to you about today. Now this is a very, very big topic and it is a very touchy subject. It may trigger quite a few of you and I understand that. If you could at least try your very best to make it to the end of video, I will very much appreciate it and hopefully you'll feel a lot better for doing so. I feel like in this day and age, this really needs to be talked about a lot more and I feel like we definitely need to take it a lot more seriously than it is being taken at the present moment because it isn't right. Now this is a very hard topic for me to talk about. As a lot of you know, if you have been part of the channel for a while, I've been through a lot of stuff including depression and it obviously has not gone this isn't something that you can just get rid of it's something that's kind of been laid in the back of my mind I was kind of at my worst between the ages of 13 and about 16 however as you all know and as everybody knows and if they don't they need to get educated it isn't something that can just go away and disappear that's not what happens and for any of you that are thinking that there may be a cure for this type of thing there really isn't there are a few things you can use to almost block it you know, antidepressants that can block it you can also go to counseling both of those are just blockers that can kind of get depression to take a back seat in your mind but believe it or not it's always there and when I did have counseling as soon as it was over I thought to myself oh that's it that's great it's all over but I honestly thought that I had been cured of my mental illnesses however that's not entirely how it works now in my opinion correct me if I'm wrong but this is just my opinion I don't believe any sort of mental illness ever goes away I feel like it lays dormant in a few of us for a bit but I don't think it ever disappears. In my opinion, I wouldn't recommend antidepressants at all because that is just, as I've said, it's a blocker. It doesn't cure anything. For one, it's very expensive to get hold of. And for two, what happens when you eventually decide to come off these antidepressants or you've run out of money and you can't afford them anymore? More times than none, you will then revert back to the same place you were before the antidepressants, if not even worse, because you have that sort of tablet, that sort of pill to rely on. And when that's not there, your brain starts playing more tricks on you and that almost makes it even worse and even harder to cope. If I was to recommend anything to you, it would definitely be counseling. Even though that does act like a blocker, like antidepressants, I feel like it's a more effective way because they can almost help you learn your feelings, learn why you're feeling a certain way, how to try and cope with it. Because I feel like in now this day and age, we need to know more how to cope with it more than how to stop it. You may not have any sort of mental illness problems at all for let's say 30 years and then it could then just eventually hit you again like it did at the start. It doesn't go away. As hard as that is to hear, it doesn't. But there are a lot more ways to cope with it now, especially, as I've said, counselling. All sorts of mental illnesses, there's depression, bulimia, anorexia, bipolar disorder. There's absolutely loads of them. Those are just the four most dangerous ones, in my opinion. Over the past few months, I feel like my depression has kind of come back to me. Now, a lot of you, especially my friends, will think, what are you talking about? You've been the happiest person ever. You've been completely fine. Released your new album, everything's going great for you even though everything's going right and I do seem happy there are still a lot of things I'm struggling with inside my own head and I'm trying to sort it out again I had no idea there was going to be a second coming the main reason I am actually making this video for is because I have just received some very disturbing information that I definitely need to tell you guys about it's something that shocked me it may not shock you as much but it definitely shocked me to the core now this piece of information is even children yeah that's right children in primary school and primary school aged children are currently self harm and have even verbally said they want to die they want to kill themselves and this is something that really shocked me and it's something that will probably affect a few of you actually watching this video as well now the worst thing about this is the fact that these kids are self-harming they're saying they want to kill themselves they're showing suicidal tendencies and the bad thing is there's teachers there's parents there's peers no one seems to be taking them seriously and I feel like any sort of cry for help no matter how young no matter how old I feel like it should definitely be taken seriously because otherwise ev anything anything at all could happen but as we see from the American story of the child called seven that killed himself because he was getting bullied for having his colostomy bag now from what I gather he was only 10 years old and his mom found him dead and that's the sort of thing that when you hear that you almost can't get it out of your mind and that's kind of why I feel like I should be making this video because depression seems to be something nowadays that's getting diagnosed younger and younger and younger minds like that that haven't had the chance to grow up properly yet haven't had the chance to learn 
about things that can help them but it doesn't help when the parents don't believe them and the parents aren't giving them the help they need or even just listening to them to hear what they have to say they think oh it's okay you're just really young you're very sad you don't know what depression is you don't know what mental illness is in reality children that young actually know what they're talking about as we've seen with the case of seven he was that badly bullied that he felt like he was worthless and he ended his own life and he was 10 years old and that's something it does it just sticks with you obviously personally i did not know seven i do personally know quite a few children who are going through this a few children that are actually self-harming the age of nine and ten years old and that's something that needs to stop it's something that we need to take more seriously i feel like primary schools need to take it more seriously more things need to be in place high schools things need to be in place as young teenagers young children that are very much at risk and their minds are at risk as well as soon as a child feels like they're not worth anything that is one of the most dangerous things in the world because they can go home try and tell the parents the parents will not believe them then what are they left to think no one's gonna believe me am i going crazy what's the point that's that's what I'm saying is so bad that no one's taking this seriously. Now, obviously, I do know what I'm talking about because I've been through all of this from the age of 13 to presently. So if you are having any sort of trouble, if your parents aren't listening to you, definitely try and research some sort of counsellor and try and get some sort of counselling because, as I said, they can help you cope. And that's something we need to be able to do now. Rather than search to stop, we need to search to cope with it because that is the best way we can learn to actually deal with what's happening. Now I personally still can't get over the fact that children are actually killing themselves, children are actually self-harming, primary school age children. Like my little sister is turning five this year and if she was to show any of those symptoms I would be worried sick. So I don't get why a lot of these parents aren't worried at all, aren't doing anything about it and are not taking it seriously. They need to sort that out right now. Next thing they know they can come home from work one day and find their son or daughter dead because they didn't listen to what they were trying to say and that to me is scary and it should scare any parents out there i'm not a parent but that scares me even thinking that that could possibly happen for a parent not to even bother i don't understand how that's even possible for all of you that are watching this that don't have any sort of mental health problems there is still some things that you can do to try and help others that are in need others that you feel like do have some sort of issue that they need help with for example if someone sat their own at lunch go and talk to them even just saying hi to them can change their mood completely or if you're in a football game or a hockey game or a tennis match if they need a partner or if you're on a team and you want to pick someone, definitely keep them in mind and don't just leave them to last. If you feel like they're not in the right place, don't leave them to last because then they're gonna feel even more invaluable. However, with that point said, don't for any reason seem like you're taking pity on someone with a mental illness. I can tell you from experience that doesn't work and it makes it 10 times worse. If someone genuinely feels like they're wanted and appreciated, that's what they need. If you're genuinely nice and you genuinely want to help them, they're more likely to feel a lot better with that. However, if you take pity on them and make them feel like a victim, that makes it even worse because by doing that, you're putting the idea in their head that they are a burden and they actually don't matter. It's almost making it seem like you're purposely lying to them and that makes it so much worse. Make it genuine and actually try to be friends with that person. That can actually help. There is no one in my entire friendship group that hasn't had any sort of mental illness. Believe it or not, my whole group are broken. Like, we're all broken. Everyone with a mental illness is broken. Imagine an egg's just been smashed on the floor and you want to try and put the eggshell back together. It's never the same. In my opinion, there's no way to fix it. There are temporary fixes. For example, if you were to put an egg back together, it would never look the same, but it would kind of still be an egg so with us as human we may still be broken but we can be reasonably fixed to a point where we can function to a point where we can cope now as you can tell this is something very very important to me and i hope you've actually taken the time to listen and watch this whole video because i really do appreciate it and i hope you've learned something from this video as well this is something that just scared me it's something that i felt like i needed to get off my chest something i felt like i needed to make a video on hopefully you guys enjoy this and actually you do take it seriously if anyone has any sort of problems just send me a message leave me a comment i will get back to you as soon as i can because this is very very important to me and every single person is very important to me mental illness or mentally stable everyone is worth something everyone is valuable whether you don't feel like that now it is true and i hope you all believe that as well now thank you very much for watching this video just remember the broken always come out stronger